first thing you'll like to do is to process payroll under the payroll module. When you first click on the payroll module here, it will bring you to processing payments. And in the processing payments, you will have a few different steps to it that you have to do. So under the first step of selecting employees, you then have to select your pay period first. So the year, month, and whether you're processing monthly or bi-monthly for your employees. Next is to select the employees that are applying and that you want to process payment for in this payment batch. So you head down and you can check and uncheck accordingly, according to which employees you like to process the payment batch for. And after that, you head to the next step. So in this step, you'll actually be able to see how our payer module as well as our leave module is actually integrated in the system. So you can fill in any leave payments or deductions here accordingly. So things like unpaid leave, once it's been approved in the leave module, it will actually be ported over straight to our payer module for payments processing. So because it will be a leave deduction, it will immediately show us a deduction here. It's like, for example, if you'd like to manually include a no paid leave here in the system, you can also choose to do so on the new item. No paid leave, whether it's a full day or half day, and then click the date that applies. So this will be how you actually key in a no paid leave manually for your employees in the system. After you've done checking through and making sure that everything's okay, you can then head to the next step. This step is actually where you key in all your main pay items for your employees. And the three different tabs that you'll be able to see here. So the first tab is the monthly and payment deduction tab. So this is more for recurring items where you can key in things like your basic pay and such. So basic pay, you can key in amount and then any remarks here. Just to let you know that any remarks will also be included in your pay slips to your employees. In the ad hoc payment and deduction tab, you can key in things that are non-regular, so irregular items such as bonuses and any maybe perhaps allowances as well. So you can key in the type, amount and any remarks too. After that, you can also head to the final tab, which is the hourly and daily attendance tab. And in this tab, you can, if you practice overtime payment to your full-time staff, you can actually key it in here under overtime hours. Or if you're paying a part-time employee regular hours, you can also choose the item of regular hours here. Then you can key in the number of hours. The rate of pay is automatically calculated in the system and it, it will show you the amounts here accordingly. You can then key in any remarks or so if this applies. So after you're done doing that, you can then head to the, the next step, which is to select any tax deductions for your employees. So automatically in the system, SOXO tax deductions will actually appear automatically and already be calculated for you. So you'll be able to see in this step here, if you wait for a little while. <laughs> so in this page, you'll be able to see things like your SOXO deductions and if you have any additional tax deductions like your mother relief, father relief tax deductions, you can key it in here as well. <laughs> so when you see this step here, you'll be able to see things like a SOXO payments, which are automatically included. And you can include things like uh, mother relief, father relief, zakat payments as a tax deduction. So what, whichever applies to your employee, you can key it in here manually. You'll finally head to the last step. And this is more of just like a summary of everything that you've included so far into the system. So in this page, you will then be able to see uh, more of a summary of everything that you've included for your employees so far. So things under the recurring payments and deductions tab, all your pay items, leave deductions, as well as tax taxes, tax deductions and anything as such. So all of it will be included here for you to just check through to make sure that everything's accurate. After that, you can head to the next and final step. So in this final step, it's actually the month total page and when it brings you here, you know that you've processed payroll fully for all of your employees already. So you <clears throat> you then know that you've actually processed it all well and fully for your employees. <laughs>